All right. We went for a minor thread right there. Now we're going to go for the uh, the OD we want for the O-ring seal. So that's 120, which would be six. Which would be 600 deep. Pretty darn close to it. All right. Now we're going to give the relief in the back, which is all the way in. Just the skosh back. And then we take uh, 60, the same as we did. All right. Now we'll be. No, well, we can't. <clears throat> we gotta. We gotta get it up here in the air. Okay. And we'll do the thread right after we get back from uh, going to get our Chinese takeout. All right. Let's put some threads in here. Thread's just a little tight. Take another cut. It's about 10 of 8, and uh, so it's about 5, I think 5, 6 hours, something like that, that this uh, desiccant's been cooking. And uh, I'm going to take a look in here. And it does look pretty ready now. I've been taking this little rod and stirring it from time to time, making sure that the desiccant in the center is all changed as well. And uh, I think this batch is pretty well cooked. And like I said, this is this is at 220, 225, somewhere there. We said we were we were trying 220 when we started, but I 
after the other reading and kind of looking at it after a while, I cranked it up to 225. Now I have another batch to do tomorrow. This is going to replace what's in there now uh, in, in the, uh, the desiccant uh, filter there for the uh, plasma cutter. And then I'm going to put that in here. Uh, and we're going to crank it up a higher temperature. And we're going to see if it uh, can handle a higher temperature without burning the desiccant. Because that was one of the warnings in, in there. Um, we also got our food saver uh, vacuum seal machine out here. And we're going to do a vacuum seal test and see how it, yeah, it works. I like that. All right, we just dropped our canister there, and uh, this will be the dust kit that we're going to work on tomorrow. In fact, actually, it was it, this is uh, this is about the same stage, barely enough uh, doing the job up here at the top. And uh, I'm going to dump this in here for tomorrow. And I'm going to go blow that out with the air compressor. I'm going to go ahead and bring this desk in out and uh, we'll go ahead and shut down our oven here and unplug it. That is a solid blue. That looks good. Um, looks just as good as when it's brand spanking new from what I can remember. Alright, we got a bag stuck over the end of this here. But we're just going to get it into something that we can pour it out of. This is kind of a, uh, not an easy pour device here. And we want to make sure we capture all of this. This is cooled down. It's still pretty warm, but it's cooled down. I know it's not going to burn the bag. Alright, and... There we did it. Alright. And uh, now we can pour it into this. Can we get something to hold this up? I've done this before. Even with those little bags, it's pretty hard. There we go. Alright, this is a two bag system, and uh, that's about what it looks like when it was in there before. Alright, we're going to go put this on the machine. Two bags of this desiccant is about 70 bucks, uh, at least uh, from my supplier where I got the, uh, the filter or the uh, dryer from the beginning. Alright, now yesterday we did a slow bake because we weren't sure uh, it, um, burning desiccant uh, and we went ahead and today we're going to follow the actual manufacturer's instructions right here and uh, they basically <clears throat> say to uh, uh, desiccant 350 degrees for approximately 3 hours um, or desiccant changes color. And uh, we'll go ahead and we crank the, we got 300 degree on this uh, rod oven here and that's what we're going to run it at. And uh, so we're going to get it in here. This is uh, uh, almost 930 so we got a time reference of what it's going to take there at that degrees there. It was about six hours yesterday at uh, 225. That's what we had. Well, we might have to give this a bath here. We don't want to contaminate our uh, desiccant there. I mean, you know, get some of these fish scales and stuff off of here. 
Terrible stuff. <laughs> we got our back uh, food saver here, and uh, we we bought another box of uh, bag material the other day uh, because we we knew we were gonna want to do this, and we didn't know how much we had in, in left in here was. A little bit of bag material might be enough to do the job, but uh, we got to set out here because when we get done baking this batch of desiccant, we want to go ahead and vacuum seal it to lock out the moisture and see how long a shelf life we can we can create with uh, you know using our own equipment that we have on hand here. Okay, uh, from start to finish, uh, we're going to go through one of these ends. You got a little scratch on there. Probably when I dropped it. Um, all right, uh, here we go. Once you get one done, you get pretty well used to it. There's the end. Now I uh, I like leading out with uh, about three three inches, three four inches on your uh, spindle here. Uh, Chuck uh, is holding the uh, quarter inch tap, and I've got the uh, the ways clamp on the uh, tailstock really loose. I've got the bed really oiled, so I got a good feel for this uh, tailstock on here. fitting there and uh, and the stone in here. <laughs> 